what are you doing in my swamp? Hello everybody, this is Ogre Boy, and I'm going to be doing my review for the 1988 movie Child's Play. Um, so, in this movie, Charles Lee Ray, played by Brad Dorf, is a serial killer, and he's being hunted by uh, Detective Mike Norris, and uh, at the beginning of the movie, there's a shootout involved, and uh, as he's dying and stuff, Charles Lee Ray... Uh, transfers his soul into the body of a doll and uh, using voodoo and uh, later on the mom of Andy Barkley this the this little boy who it's his birthday and stuff he's wanting this good guy doll which is the doll that Charles Lee Ray transferred his body into uh, he wants the doll really bad and stuff, so his mom ends up buying one off the peddler that happens to be the one that Charles Lee Ray is possessing. And the audience know, pretty much knows this, but the the characters of course don't. And we have to sit and watch in terror as uh, things start going crazy after uh, starting with Andy's babysitter and Karen's best friend Maggie getting thrown out a window and uh, uh, other characters are dying and stuff that were connected to Charles Lee Ray and uh, the cops and Karen are trying to figure out what's going on uh, because Andy's been at the scene of some of the crimes because of Chucky and uh, eventually Karen finds out and is trying to convince the cops that Chucky's alive and everything and uh, of course they don't believe her and uh, but the but Chucky comes alive and when he tries to kill Detective Norris again and uh, so he ends up teaming up with Karen to try to help uh, stop Chucky from transferring his soul into Andy's body because he's the first person that he told his secret to that he was used to be a human and stuff and um, so that's pretty much the rest of the movie they're trying to stop Chucky um, this is a classic it's one of my favorite horror movies of all time I, I absolutely love this movie in fact uh, it's the one that was pretty much my introduction to the slasher genre and stuff although this is more of a whodunit mystery movie than a, sla a straight up slasher like some like the rest of the movies in the franchise but um, I love like like the suspense in this movie it, it's just really well done and everything like every time I watch it it keeps me on the edge of my seat and I've seen this movie I don't know how many times it's just one of those that, that they did such an excellent job with the suspense and everything and uh, even though you know how it's going to go down uh, it it just it's a really fun movie and everything uh, it has a really great cast aside from Brad Dorf who plays Charles Lee Ray at the beginning and then voices Chucky of course um, he's really great in this role although I wouldn't say this is his best work as Chucky he gets better as it, in the sequels personally to me but he, he's great in here and everything it was a great starter and everything Catherine Hicks is really great as Andy's mom Karen she's uh, she's a pretty good actress and stuff I loved her on the show seventh heaven and stuff and I, I love her in this movie I think she's really likable she's a really good character and it sucks that we never saw, see her again in the franchise but I think she was great in here and uh, Chris Randon is uh, detective Norris is really good too he, he's really likable and, and this is kind of like a reunion for him because he had uh, previously starred in uh, Fright Night which was released a few years earlier and also directed by Tom Holland who directed this movie as well and not Spider-Man Tom Holland obviously uh, but that uh, he's really good in here too as Detective Norris as a kid I used to not like him and stuff because he didn't he didn't believe them and stuff and everything but as an adult watching him I'm like yeah it's really understandable why he doesn't and everything although a lot of the circumstances if you really think about it would make sense but at the same time believing a doll is alive isn't really doesn't make sense either um, 
but he, he's really good in here. And Alex Vincent is Andy. I, I think he gives a really great performance. He, he's uh, gives one of the best performances by a kid actor in a horror movie, personally to me. Now, some of his lines and stuff are not super great, but he's a little kid, so I can give him a pass for that. Because, I mean, acting as an adult is hard enough, and when you're that young, uh, it, it's it's okay. He was only like six or seven years old when he made this movie, so I give him a pass. I, I think he was really good in here, especially in the scene when Chucky is showing up at the uh, at the hospital to try to get Andy to take him take his soul and stuff and everything he's like Chuck he's coming to get me and he's going to kill me and he starts crying and stuff like that that scene is just really great acting and uh, he did a really great job for such a young kid um, and the whole climax is really good when with Chucky getting put in the fireplace and stuff and Andy does that, that line where he says this is the end friend I, I love that part it, it just it's like he's had enough of his crap and everything it just really great scene and everything and then you get the burnt Chucky chasing him around and uh, it's really really good really well done and everything I, I just absolutely love this movie uh, the the score in this movie is done by Joe Renzetti and uh, I know last time I reviewed it I said I didn't care for the score very much it was kind of forgettable but uh, Rewatching it tonight I actually really enjoyed the music in this movie it had really had a good eerie vibe to it and everything it wasn't really that I thought it was bad last time it's just that the theme music and stuff wasn't as good to me but I think part of that was the last time I watched it uh, was on a VHS tape that was really getting worn out and everything. Uh, I watched, tonight I watched it for the first time on Blu-ray and it made a huge difference in this movie. Like, like there was a lot of stuff in here that I didn't notice and stuff and like little details in the background and stuff that I couldn't notice on the on the VHS tape and everything. Like the picture is so good on the Blu-ray and it's just a standard Blu-ray, but um, it's a huge step up from a, a crappy VHS tape that that barely worked um, and I could hear the score a lot better in this movie um, and uh, the visual effects they use and stuff to bring Chucky to life hold up really well like like the animatronics and stuff are really good and there are a few parts where there's like uh, uh, short people running around in the costume and stuff and uh, I never noticed it before. I had heard people talk about it and stuff, but I never noticed it watching it on my VHS tape, I guess. Because that's really the only way I've really seen this movie is on VHS. So, watching it for the first time on Blu-ray, I really noticed it this time. It really did stick out. And I, I get, why, get why people criticize it and stuff like it. I can completely get it. You can honestly tell when he's animatronic and when he's human and I know last time I reviewed it I said I couldn't tell the difference but I really could this time uh, and it does kind of look a little bit silly but I think for the most part it holds up really well I mean for a movie that's uh, almost 33 years old it, it holds up really good um, and part of that like I said is thanks to the cast and the writing and because the, the, the who done it aspect is just really well done and everything probably out of all the movies in the franchise it uses that that suspense and the who done it aspect which i think there's only one other movie that really does that it works really good um it works better in this than it did curse of chucky which i'll talk about when i get to that one but um i think it it just is really well written and the cinematography and stuff in here is really good um and it has this grittiness feel to it and it, it, it's just a really fun movie I, I absolutely love child's play and everything it, it has some good kills too like i said uh maggie gets knocked out the window and she gets a hammer to the head and knocked out the window i thought that was a pretty pretty cool scene although that kind of looks a little bit silly too like the way she she stumbles backwards but then again at the same time if you get hit in the head with a hammer you're gonna stumble backwards 
and everything. So I guess it makes sense. Uh, I thought that was a really cool scene. And then uh, there's some other cool kills in here. Eddie Caputo's death with the house exploding and stuff because of the oven was really cool. And uh, uh, Dr. Death was... Uh, the scene was pretty cool when uh, Chucky goes to visit him to find out how to to or why he's he's hurting and stuff after getting shot, and uh, uh, he finds out that he has to transfer his soul into Andy's body. I just love that scene and stuff. He he breaks his arm and his leg and stuff, and it makes me cringe every time he does it when you hear the bones crack, and then. Uh, he, uh, when he finds out how he has to, how he has to transfer his soul into the, to him and stuff, and he laughs and stuff, and it's like, I'm going to be six years old again and stuff, that, that laugh and stuff, it cracks, there's something just darkly humorous about it and everything, but I, I love that scene, and I think out of all the deaths in the movie, I think that one's probably my favorite out of the three, but they're, they're all good, uh, good kills. And everything it has a low body count but it, it's still a fun movie and the like I said the suspense is just really really well done and it keeps me on the edge every time I watch it there and there's just something eerie about it from the from the get-go uh, and everything and it just uh, builds the suspense up as it goes on and never really stops I just absolutely love it and even at the end of the movie it has this eeriness so um, I absolutely love this movie. It's it's a classic and uh, one of my favorite horror movies of all time and everything. Like I said, it was probably the the first slasher movie I ever saw. It wasn't in the first horror movie that was Jaws, but as far as slasher movies go, this was the very first one I ever saw and it's still one of my favorites to this day. So I'd say I'd give the original Child's Play a 9.5 out of 10. It's a great movie. Uh, definitely would recommend it to anybody who's a horror fan and everything so uh, but yeah let me know in the comments what you think of this movie and I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, have a good day everybody